This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, it's Cindy Harris, and welcome back to Daily Bread. Today I'm going to show you my savory breakfast bread. You make it the night before and then bake it off first thing in the morning. So the first thing we need to do is get some water between 100 and 110 degrees, and then we want to measure off a quarter of a cup of that and put it into a small bowl. Then I'm going to get some active dry yeast and I want to get three teaspoons. Now if you have a jar of yeast just measure out the three teaspoons or it's about one and a half packets here in the US. They sell it in packets. And uh, what I'm going to do is going to put that yeast in that warm water and kind of stir it to start it dissolving. Now over at the mixer I'm going to put four cups of flour in the bowl. Now you can use regular flour or bread flour, whatever you like, and then one tablespoon of kosher salt. And then I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm going to lower the mixer and just let that kind of mix up together a bit. Then you want to get a cup of warm water. Again, it needs to be between 100 and 110 degrees. Go ahead and pour that into the mixer while it's going. And then you're going to want to get your yeast that you've dissolved. Give that a little bit of a stir and pour that in as well. Now when you first put the water in like this, it does not going to look like much. But that bread hook is really simulating kneading for us. And so it's just going to more and more as it mixes together, start to pull that dough together. Now after a couple of minutes, we are starting to see it's pulling together some. But there's still a little bit of the uh, dry flour on the edge. So we just need to be patient and let the mixer run and do its thing. Now see how it's starting to ball up? That's really what we want. So just let the mixer run until it starts to look like this. Then you can stop and uh, we can go on. So here we are, we've got our dough and I'm just gonna get a small board and I'm gonna lightly flour it. And then I'm gonna take my dough and you'll see all that flour has been um, kneaded into it. I'm gonna press it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll this out. Now I find that when I roll this out to about 16 by 12, that really is the perfect thickness and the perfect size. Now once the dough is rolled out, we're going to go ahead and start filling it. Now the cheese I like to use for this bread is a Fontina and it has that red wax coating on it, which of course we don't want to use. And I just want to go ahead and grate about two cups of cheese. Now we want to get about a half a pound of sliced ham. Now I'm using a black forest ham and as you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm going right down the center of the dough and I'm layering the ham slices from one end to the other. Then I'm going to take all of that Fontina cheese and I'm just going to lay that on top of the black forest ham all the way across the dough. Now I like to get some sun-dried tomatoes and the kind I get are julienne and they're packed in some oil. And I usually use between a quarter and a half a cup. I just kind of eyeball it to be honest with you. And I just lay those all the way across the cheese. Now comes the fresh basil and basically what I do is I just get the biggest leaves that I can find and I lay them right on top of the sun-dried tomatoes. Now it usually takes between 8 and 10 large leaves um, but you just want a nice even layer of basil all the way across the top. Now I've pre-boiled eight eggs to uh, make them hard boiled and now I'm just going to take them, I've already peeled them and everything, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay those right on top of the basil. Now because we have that bed of cheese and the ham and everything, they're going to lay pretty nicely but you just lay them right together all the way across. 
Now I'm just going to get some olive oil and I'm just going to do a light drizzle all the way across the eggs just to give them a little bit of moisture. And then just do a little sprinkling of kosher salt and then get your pepper mill and just do a little black pepper all the way across the top. Now it's time to roll the bread. So take the long end closest to you, flip it over the eggs, and then you're basically just going to kind of take the other end, pull it over the top. And this dough is very forgiving. It's not sticky and hard to deal with at all. But once you get the eggs covered up, then you want to sort of flip it around so the seam side is down. And then you take those ends and you just kind of scrunch them down and around that way the filling stays nice and tight and I just kind of I want it to be about an even thickness all the way across now to get ready to bake you do need a rimmed baking sheet and a piece of parchment and then get the bread kind of pinch that bottom seam up just one last time and then you can go ahead and transfer that to the baking sheet now you can leave it in a log, but a lot of times what I do is I like to bend it in sort of a, a horseshoe or a, a crescent shape. So I just kind of bend it around a little bit and uh, making sure all the seams are nice and tight. Now it's time to cover it with some plastic wrap and it's just going to go in the refrigerator overnight. And this does a really nice slow rise which gives the bread a lot of interesting flavor um, in the morning. Now once morning comes I take the plastic off and you can see it's risen nicely. And I let it sit out on the counter for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, it's kind of come to temperature a little bit, I pop it in a 400 degree oven and I bake it for about 30 minutes. And this is what it's going to look like after 30 minutes. Nice and golden brown like this. Oh, and it smells so good. Now it's really important that you use that baking sheet because sometimes some of the cheese oozes out and that's not a big deal. We just let it sit there. Oh, for just a couple of minutes to let it cool. And then I transfer it over to a cutting board and I start slicing it up. Now make sure you use a serrated knife and once you cut into this bread, look what's inside. Egg, ham, tomato, basil, cheese. It's everything you need for breakfast and in one bread, it's fantastic. Now if you wanna give it a go, I've got the recipe at the website for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.